Welcome to How to Mod XCOM Enemy Within. In today's video, we'll be editing the default game core.ini file. You'll need several things to, to mod this game. The first is to install the Long War mod. This is a mod that allows for most of the editing of the vanilla game, as it is pretty much unmoddable without it. Second is a program is like Notepad or Notepad++. I use Notepad++ as it makes reading the INI files much easier. A link will be provided to you in the description. You'll need to open up the, to edit the video, you'll need to open up the default game core.ini file. This is done by navigating to your enemy within directory within Steam. So you open up Steam, go to your file where you have installed, uh, Steam, Steam apps, where you, uh, okay, not there, common, XCOM enemy within. Now it's very important that you're in the XEW folder. XCOM game here is the original game. So go to XCOM, the folder here for XCOM, XEW. Now you open up XCOM game and then config. You will click, click on the file you want to edit. As you can see, I've made several edits and I've made backups before I make any edits. So here's one, here's a file we can work with. Right click, click on it, then right click on it, uh, edit with Notepad++. So as you can see here, it allows you to see the file much better. Things are commented out, it spreads it out, looks much smoother than Notepad. If I open up this file with regular Notepad, As you can see, it's fairly hard to understand what you're looking at. So that's why I use Notepad++. All right, so if we want to edit out the arc thrower, for example, and you want to put that on the pistol slot. So do Control F, search for the phrase arc thrower. All right, so this is not it. Soldier items, search again. Okay, so they actually have in there, uh, says to uncomment out this, so that means just remove that colon thing, and then you com scroll up just ever so slightly, and then you comment that out. That allows you to put the arc thrower into the pistol slot. You don't like how, the, how long the air game takes to repair your ships? All right. Change that by searching for the phrase hangar. And facility hangar. All right. Nope, that's not it. Ah, here we go. Hangar. Repair time hours. I changed mine to 300. And rearm to 160. Now, this basically cuts the repair time. So, you no longer have more than 14 days repair time. And rearm times is three days. You guys want to start with a larger squad? I start mine to an eight, but um, this allows me to have a much larger base squad. So I have a 10 man squad. Do you want to add more perks to your tree? Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Here is all the random perk trees for training roulette. Um, I've uncommented out battle scanner, smoke bomb, bombard, and heat ammo. As I find that the paramedic perks really screw, screw with your medics when you, you can't make a medic properly. Then I've also added the perk in the zone so it can appear on anybody. So to do so, you make sure you have random perks and then equals E perk, whatever, whatever that is. If you're curious to what that perk is, you want to go to the, um, the website for Long War if there is a, um, site here that lists all of the dev console commands so you want to find that that out so you go right here the ufopedia dev console you want say in the zone all right so in the zone here's the perk perk name and you pretty much can add anything you want here the problem is though if it is an alien effect, say Death Blossom. 
you cannot give your guys Death Blossom, unfortunately. But otherwise, you can add pretty much any perk you want there. Uh, Pyrotechnics does not work very well there. Anyways, I hope this helps. You can also change some things like item weights in here. Uh, your scope. You don't want it weighing anything. Search for scope and under human small items. Here's your mobility. You remove that negative one to z and change that to a zero. It now weighs nothing. It does not affect your weight. But I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I hope this helps you edit your XCOM game to your liking. Thank you very much.